Hey guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Today we are on the road, quick road trip. Heading to the hobby shop today. Going to check out some, um, we'll check out some rocket stuff. Just want to see what Estes have in stores these days. I see what comes out online. I just want to see what's, um, see what's available. So I'm heading to Hobby Bench. There are two of these stores in the valley now. It used to be a lot more, but they shut one down, or shut a couple of them down like during the recession like some years ago. So there's still two left. I'm going to the one on Northern Avenue. I'm gonna go see what they got. And I may pick up a couple things. We'll see, just go uh, check it out. Now, just to update, I have a couple builds that I'm working on. I'm working on the Saturn 1B, the K29 one. Um, that's coming along pretty good. So you'll see that coming soon. Jimny Titan is complete. Just need two, two parachutes for that. Um, other than that, just want to let you guys know, subscribe to the channel. If you're new here, subscribe. Build rockets, launch rockets, and I'll show you some rocket stuff here and there. Um, also, there are two sets of cards left, just two. We're down to two, so go to the site. Link is in the description. Go do the order. These cards are done, out of production. If you don't get one, you won't have this set. Set number one. Set number two should be coming um, later in 2024, and some other stuff's going to be coming out. So stay tuned, and I'll see you inside uh, Hobby Bench. It's my Rock 321. Subscribe, let's go. All right, here we go, guys. We are arriving at Hobby Bench. Probably gonna be pretty busy this Christmas. I probably should have went to the light, actually. This is a lot of, go, cars, car can go. <laughs> and you gotta yell at traffic. Oh, they, they are just crawling, I'm gonna lie. So yeah, we are pulling up in the shopping center where um, Hobby Bench is at. And um, yeah, this is in Phoenix. Kind of like, I guess it's like, not too far north, it's not central, but just up there a little, up, up um, north, we're up north a little bit. So yeah, we are just, it's a shopping center and all kinds of stuff's out here. Let me show some of that in here. Which is a bookstore, used bookstore here called Bookman. They have all kinds of cool stuff, used stuff, used books, model kits, toys, actually. They have a lot of stuff in that um, store right there. Bookman's is pretty cool. I always look in there, I always think somebody's gonna drop off some rocket stuff, but never really seen, um, any rockets in there. Yeah, this is very busy. Like this is like I said, Christmas, Christmas time. A lot of people um out and about. Yep, y'all can go let people cross. So yeah. And, um, yeah, so we are here. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be probably busy in there. Yeah, every spot is taken. Normally when I come here, it's like you can get a, you can get a spot. So gonna be a lot of action in here today. So we're gonna go check out Hobby Bench and see what we got. All right, so here we go, guys. We are at Hobby Bench. And the owner is Lee Peaster. He started Century Engineering, the old rocket company, before Estes um, took them over. So we are here right now at Hobby Bench. Let's check it out. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see. Hi, how you doing? Let's see, I know the rockets are back here on the ceiling. Lee's kits. Lee built all these. See, so, yeah, let's see. Either that or um, there was, I forgot the actual term for it, but elephant tank. The German elephant tank. There was like a huge let's see what we got. Yeah. Oh, no, not really. No, not all right, so we got some yeah. stuff yeah. in here that they like, tried um, this one. So something like that. Something like that. Set this down to 57. The, just the red mats, I do need one of these. I want to do another theme rocket. So this is a big like red mats at 54. Cool. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, Saturn one B. I'm doing that right now. A couple door knobs, sky lads. Yeah, so yeah, we got some some of the regular stuff, regular stuff. Nothing too. Yeah, let me see what we got over here. Let me film that right there. So just yeah, regular stuff. Nothing really. None of the new new kits like Red Sapphire just came out. That's not here. Thank you, thank you. If there's something I'm really looking for, we can yeah, order some of the regular stuff. You can always see on the website. A couple catalogs. There's a 2019 catalog right there. Is that it? 2019. So. Nothing too. I do want one of these. I found something to get. You got it. I want one of these. Mm -hmm. I think that ring is kind of wonky. Mm -hmm. Let me get this right. I did want one of these. Yeah, as far as the, the, the Space Corps Lunar Scout. So, 
I'm gonna get one of these blind mini. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's a small guy. It's a small guy. Pretty barely, barely any parts. Let's see if I get one of these. These for 24 millimeter. Let's see. Oh, is this a big one? Uh, oh, standard A to a D. Yeah, I need one of these. Yeah. So, a couple things. Engine adapter from um, A size engines to a D. So, or D to a A. D to a D to a D to a D to a D to yeah, cool. So yeah, nothing too on the ceiling. You can see all these brackets up here. Those are all kits that lead built. Over here, the vintage Saturn 1D. I'm building one right now. K29, whenever I need it. So yeah, my Rock 221 inside Howdy Bench. The crawl wood. Yeah, yeah. Way more fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what else we got here. Motorcycles. RC? Oh yeah, they're legit. They got a gyro I in them. They, yeah, they keep the belt right, yeah. right, right. Keep that balance going. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a rocket guy. I'm a, All right. I'm a rocket is my that's my thing. Filming here for the YouTube, so doing a little bit of that today. Yeah, the owner. Uh, uh, oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you're right. I knew the. Yeah, I'm yep. trying to catch up to him. I want to catch up to him here one day. Um, but yeah, everybody knows Lee. He was in his. Uh, spotlight hour here he was over here taking inventory oh, and all these rocket people come in at the same time and oh, wow. they had a hundred questions so he was wow. he got to start answering questions was that today stuff. or yeah he just left Man, probably I it. 20 minutes ago that's crazy i missed it when do you think he'll be back I mean, sometime. he he pops in and out in and out. no set time no set time yeah. Yeah. okay yeah one of these days one of these days you'll catch him <laughs> yeah i'll catch him yeah, you just call yeah yeah just the servo horn uh, and filters Okay, so you're going to yeah. be <laughs> navigating real quick. Where is the Yeah, I do with the This is cool. Yeah, some like small tools and stuff. I had these for little small files and stuff. Yeah, these are cool for doing your thing. Small tools and this and that. going on guys heading out just now leaving hobby bench picked up a couple things as you just saw um pretty cool store um as you saw inside of there lee peaster a lot of his kits are on the ceiling you know that's all his kits actually he built all those it's his shop and as you heard they were saying that he was there today and i missed him i've been trying to catch up with him for a little while but eventually it will happen it will happen so that's it for today guys my rock 321 let's check out the couple of things i grabbed real quick today and catch you on another video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Check the link below. Get your trading cards. And
are back. Back at the workbench. This came from Hobby Bench. Let's take a look at what, what I got today. So I picked up this little thing right here. It's a propeller. You spin it like that and it flies up. I'm not sure how high up it can go, but I guess you add enough power, it can get up there pretty, get up there pretty good. I don't know, 30 feet or so maybe. I don't know. So I'll mess around with this one day. I also picked up a pack of D120 engines in store. These things cost for two. $13.49 for two engines. So, yep, engines have went up over the year. Used to get three pack of engines. So I got that. Also, the Space Core Lunar Scout. I always wanted one of these things. I like that little design like that. Easy. So it flies up to 200 feet on an A103T. Featherweight recovery, so it um, turns over as you can see and should come on down and recover pretty nice. I tried to pick one, but the ring seemed to be a little out of shape. But I think it'll straighten itself out once you get its little uh, fins in. So I guess the fins are some kind of uh, die cut card. Yeah, some kind of card fins into there. Yeah, simple, like a very simple build. It's like some, some gold. I'm not sure if it's already colored or not. Probably have to paint some stuff here, but we'll see. So I got that Lunar Scout. What skill level is this thing? Skill level intermediate they have it. Not, not beginner, but intermediate. So, got one of those. And I got some more of these adapters. I like these. These go from um, standard D to an A. I think I, I said it wrong in the, in the video. So, this, if you have a 24 millimeter mount, you can fly a standard 18 millimeter engine in here, which is um, which is pretty cool. So now I don't have to use that. I was, I, it got stuck. I tried to make one out of a casing, spent casing. So this is what I needed right here. So these are the three purchases gifts to me my three christmas gifts or four that's for me but there is something else i did get um if i can find it really quick let me see if i can find it hold tight so here's something i did get and let's do some magic right now ready in here i have a max q falcon 9. they sent this additional part because i think the part inside here is wrong and here's the fin unit um, Kevin's been flying all of Max Q stuff, so that's pretty cool and inspired me to get involved. I want to try, um, I don't have a Falcon 9 to fly yet. I have some other ones by, I have Boyce Aerospace one, that's a serious build one. Um, but this team, and I have the Estes one, which is more collectible. But this will work out for me. I want to actually, let's take a look at this stuff. Might as well while we're here. Um, yeah, Kevin has done some similar stuff without Kevin. I want to um, see see what this is all about. I want to you know get involved with some Max Q lights here soon. So Max Q is all uh, 3D printing. From what I understand and what I can see, these parts are 3D printed. Seem to be pretty pretty good quality um pretty good quality stuff. So parachute here. I think he's nylon parachutes. So here's the body tubes. Pretty nice. Nice SpaceX decal. Oh, this is nice. Like, I like... It's nice and thin. Like a vinyl. Okay. Pretty cool. Yeah, all your small parts. Oh, you got all your NASA logos and all this stuff here. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the. I like this, man. This is nice. Nice, 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 nice. Don't want to lose anything, so keep all that over there. But yeah, just several, several parts here to get this done. Got all your tubing and everything. I guess you got your fairing section. So yeah, you got your dragon capsule. Got your dragon. I can tell by this. So this is the part he gave me. I don't want to mix them up. <laughs> so this is the what one he gave extra said since this was wrong. So I had to make sure I keep um I'll just put this on the shelf in a way right now. Because this is the one that it's gonna that works. So when I get down to the instructions a little more, I'll um you know I'll get this get this guy built. So nice, should be no painting. <laughs> Should be no pain. This is all your um, all your landing gear stuff. Nice. Got to see your little grid fins. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. That's your instructions and everything. More small parts. Check that out. That's your nozzle. Raptor engine. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. These are your clear fin sections. These are kind of a little flimsy, but we'll see. Should be good. So you can actually try to print it like with clear. You can see all the striping from the 3D printed Falcon 9 fin unit. But yeah, guys. Yeah, should be cool. Should be cool. So I just wanted to show you that. In addition to the other stuff I just picked up, got this as a gift. So this is pretty, very appreciated. So let's 
SpaceX Falcon 9. This is Model Rocks 321, guys. I'm going to wrap this video up right here. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumb up. Ring the bell notification. Check the links below. Support the channel any way you can. I got the trading cards there. More stuff to come from Model Rocks 321. And um, that will do it. And I'm out. Have a good holiday season.